Last week we talked about freezing the action, but there seems to be still a little bit of confusion between shutter speed, flash duration, high speed sync, so let's talk about it. Hi everyone, Stefan here. I hope you're doing well. It's crazy what's going on in the world right now. Two years ago we talked about COVID, now we have war in Europe. I never thought growing up in Switzerland during a time when the Cold War was absolute reality, being in Berlin when the wall was still there, walking up Friedrichstraße up to Checkpoint Charlie and you saw the machine guns on the other side. East Berlin, East Germany, everything was real and finally everything came down and now we have Europe in war again. So. My heart goes out to everyone in the Ukraine, but at the same time also to all the Russians in Russia who don't want this war. Many who have friends or family in the Ukraine and don't understand what's going on. So let's not make it a Russian war. Let's just call it what it is. It's Putin's war. Anyway, I always say never talk about politics or religion. I just talked about politics. All I want to say is, rather than pretending that the world is fine and we're all sitting around the bonfire, holding hands, singing Kumbaya, no, the world is not fine. Anyway, let's talk about photography, nevertheless. I posted the video last week and I got a lot of uh, personal messages on Instagram, on, on, on YouTube about this shutter speed thing and I think there's a lot of confusion. When I talk about freezing the action it doesn't mean that the shutter speed on your camera has to be super high. I was talking about the freezing power of strobes like this one. So when you're out and about, sun is shining, bright daylight, someone is moving fast and you want to freeze the action. Yes of course. What you're doing is you dial up your shutter speed on your camera and you freeze the action. As soon as you're inside, in a studio like this, very different story. If I would shoot at 1,600th of a second or so, I would get a black picture. I need light. Now where the confusion is, when you work with studio strobes, your shutter speed on the camera will be probably at 1 200th of a second, maybe 1 250th of a second, depending on your camera model. So at that setting, let's say you shoot at f8, at 1 200th of a second, can't even talk today, and ISO 100. You will get a black frame. That's perfect. Now you switch your strobes on. That means that your subject, whoever it is, dancer, we have two dancers here today again, they will be illuminated entirely by your strobe. That means that the freezing time of the strobe is determining how sharp, how frozen your subjects are. So the faster the light, the sharper the image or the less motion blur there is in the image. What I'm talking about right now is T.1 value of these or similar lights that freezes the action, not high-speed sync. High-speed sync is a different story. Under normal circumstances, depending on your camera model, your normal sync speed for flash will be 1 200th of a second, maybe 1 250th of a second. That's it and then you leave the rest to the lights. What if you want to go higher than your standard sync speed in your camera? Let's say you want to go to 1600th of a second. Well, you have to understand how a shutter works of a camera. The front curtain opens, the full sensor is exposed, curtain closes. That's at your standard sync speed. But now that you go higher than the standard sync speed, that means that while the front curtain opens, the second curtain is already shutting. What you get is only a slither 
that goes over your sensor. Your sensor is not fully open at any given time. What you now need is high speed sync. So while your sensor is only exposed for a very short amount of time, at the same time only by a small strip, you need a light like this one that you can switch to high speed sync. So while your sensor is exposed, the flash is constantly firing in small, little, very, very fast bursts. If you are outside and you want to use strobes for effect, as example, you want to really darken down the scene in the middle of the day, you want to have the shutter speed really, really high because you want to let as little light in as possible. At the same time, you want to expose your subject correctly. Whatever the situation is, that's when high speed sync really becomes necessary. In the studio, you don't need it. So in the studio, even though all my lights support high speed sync, I will never use it in the studio. It just makes no sense. My camera settings are set to F8, one two hundredth of a second, I will get a black frame. And then I freeze the action with my lights. All right, so I hope we cleared that up. For now, I say thank you. Go out and create something awesome.